Just hours after arriving back home in Brazil, the young man held by British police at London's main airport under anti-terrorism laws says he'll go to court to challenge that detention. I stayed in a room with six different agents who were entering and exiting. They spoke to me, asking me questions about my whole life. They took my computer, my video game, my cell phone, everything. David Miranda's partner is Glenn Greenwald, a journalist for Britain's Guardian newspaper. He's published details of American and British intelligence surveillance methods, which he got from Edward Snowden, the former employee of the American National Security Agency. The Brazilian government thinks that the British went too far in their treatment of David Miranda. We consider it unjustified, this nine-hour detention, under the basis of a law that is applied to suspects with a possible involvement in terrorism. We hope it doesn't happen again. The British police here at Scotland Yard have put out a statement. They say their decision to detain David Miranda under the Terrorism Act was legally sound, that their actions were necessary and proportionate, and that a lawyer attended the examination. Meanwhile, in Washington, the American government said it had not asked the British to detain David Miranda. There was a heads up that was provided by the British government. Um, so this, again, this is something that we uh, had an indication was likely to occur, but it's not something that we requested. David Miranda will now try to stop the British police from examining information they took from his computer and mobile phone. As for Glenn Greenwald, he says he won't be intimidated and will publish more documents about Britain's spy system. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera.